Los Angeles. The final 150 of the Golden State Warriors 128-121 win over the Los Angeles Lakers lasted 22 minutes in an ending deemed bizarre and tough by the respective coaches. After a Stephen Curry missed three-pointer at the 152 mark, the ball caromed out of bounds off of Andrew Wiggins and Jackson Hayes. The ball was initially ruled out of bounds off of the Lakers. Los Angeles coach Darvin Ham challenged the call. Upon review, the call was overturned and the Lakers' challenge was deemed successful. However, during the stoppage, the NBA's replay review also determined that LeBron James' corner three-pointer over Curry at the 207 mark was incorrect as James stepped out of bounds as he took the shot. The Lakers, who trailed 124-120 at the time, now trailed 124-117. With the ball off both players, instead of just Hayes, there was a jump ball at the Warriors' free throw line. Hayes tipped the jump ball toward the baseline, where Draymond Green collected it and threw it off Austin Reeves with 148 left. The Lakers, who still had another challenge, once again challenged the call. Upon another review, it was ruled that Green had stepped out of bounds and it would be the Lakers' ball. Over the next eight minutes, there were four attempts to resume play with the shot clock not starting on any of the possessions. By the third and fourth attempts, the Crypto.com arena crowd began booing the referees. It totally takes the air out of the building, Ham said. People were there. It's a game that was going back and forth. They build a nice cushion for themselves. We dig back into it, and then we make a big shot. Big play. They make a big shot. Big play. Guys are scrambling, competing their asses off, and then boom. Everything just stops. Now you've got fans getting a little antsy, thus the booze. Eventually, the referees decided that Lakers public address announcer Lawrence Tanter would verbally announce the shot clock in five-second intervals, starting at the 20-second mark over the arena speakers. I haven't seen that, he said. I haven't seen that before. The Lakers turned the ball over on their possession, essentially icing the game for the Warriors. After the game, James voiced his displeasure over his three-pointer. I've never seen that be called before like that in that particular time, James said. That was kind of weird. It took some momentum away from us. I didn't believe I stepped on the line, obviously. I knew how much space I had over there. And when I shoot, I shoot on my tippy toes. So it's kind of hard for me to have a feel down. Probably after I shot. All two-pointers and three-pointers are reviewable. Though he took issue with a possession in the third quarter in which the Warriors shot clock inadvertently reset and they had 28 seconds to try to score, which they did. No, James said when asked if he was given clarification as to what triggered the review. I think all twos and threes are reviewable, I believe. At the same time, I'm not quite sure because in the third quarter, Golden State had a reset of the shot clock and they scored on that possession and that wasn't reviewed, so I'm just, I don't know. With the loss, the Lakers dropped to 36-32. The Warriors improved to 35-31 and jumped the Lakers to take control of the number 9-7.